Hey folks, it's Chris, welcome back. So last time I showed you my idea for a device to fasten the painfully process of polar alignment using the altitude knobs of my beloved EQ6R Pro mount. Problem is that there's some torque of the telescope weight resting on the altitude axis of the telescope mount. This way it's very hard to fine adjust the altitude axis with the strangely built knobs. I found all the pieces I needed in the local hardware store, drilled an additional hole for the screw, mounted everything on a common wooden plate and used some super glue to hold the counter nut in place. I figured that this fixation wouldn't carry any weight because the nut is pressed against the metal plate by the weight of the telescope. And then yeah, under 5 bucks and half an hour later we are good to go. And as the sky is clear I thought why not give it a try. So just placing the device under the front leg of the telescope, so the leg facing north. And then all we need to do is start the polar alignment procedure in SharpCap. By the way, I can highly recommend the polar alignment procedure in SharpCap, it's fantastic. I first slew my scope 90 degrees, like that, around the RA axis of course, and then start the procedure in SharpCap. The program will take an image and then plate solve the current location. Then the program will ask me to slew the scope 90 degrees like that and it will afterwards take another picture and plate solve this as well. By plate solving the program will know exactly where the north celestial pole is and by comparing the two images it will also know where my rotational axis of the telescope is. It will then show me the difference and ask me to realign the rotational axis of the telescope and the north celestial pole of the sky. As mentioned, adjusting the azimuth axis of the telescope is no problem. You just loosen one knob and then retighten the other one. We do that a few times to get the arrow down to zero or almost zero given the current seeing conditions. And then adjusting the altitude of the telescope by adjusting the altitude knobs of the telescopes first. And here comes the trick. Normally it's very difficult to get a very precise adjustment of the altitude knobs and get the arrow down to almost zero. Because every fine movement of the knobs will cause a huge difference in the adjustment. And here comes our new device. Because of the fine screw and the length of the door hinge, we reduce the gear ratio if you will. I don't know the exact factor, but as you see, the movements within the screw corresponds to arc seconds in our alignment. And yeah, that's pretty cool. With this new method we are easily able to get the arrow down to almost zero and that very reliable and very quick. And I'm very pleased with this new method. I let the gear run the entire night and I had no shifts in polar alignment whatsoever. I even found this section on the official SharpCup webpage. It quotes, If the mount is on a pier, the pier mounting plate bolts can often give finer adjustments than the mount's own alt azimuth adjustments. And I think, yeah, we just built ourselves a device that mimics exactly that. And it's super cheap, it's super fast, and until now it's reliable. So after a night of imaging I can say, the new tool to perfect polar alignment worked quite well and I had no slip in polar alignment during the night whatsoever. I'll keep you updated during the upcoming nights whether this tool holds up or not. Thanks for watching so far and clear skies everyone, until next time here on Catching Photons.